For Christmas, I got a newer DL200. It's a cute little camera dolly, and I downloaded the app from newer, and man, it's no good at all. So I set about reverse engineering the Bluetooth protocol, and I was able to map out everything that the app did, and I built a little web app. Turn this little guy on here, and then we'll connect in the Chrome browser back here. And when I connect, I'm asked to pair. And you'll notice the numbers are gonna count down. That's just to let you know that it's paired. I'm gonna set that there. And let's make this little guy do some stuff. By default, its acceleration uh, ramps up and slows down, eases in and out as you will. Uh, but we're gonna switch that to just constant acceleration just so we can see it. And we will switch to speed five. And uh, we're gonna go left or go right. Pretty basic stuff. Now, I've got this set up to be momentary. So as you hold the button down, it moves, you let go, it stops. And I've also mapped it to keys. So I can use the arrow keys. Uh, you can change the speed with the numbers. So I'll go down to speed one, or speed five. And you can push M to turn off momentary, and then you can just push right or left and make him do his thing, and then space to stop. You can turn on slow acceleration, see it ramp up to speed and if you hit space he ramps back down and now of course if I go one direction and I change it to the other direction he'll ramp down and ramp back up the other way so I wanted to see what other bits I could build in here I did find that I could do a small trick where I ask it to ramp up and ramp down speed and I start and stop quickly. And that gives me a super slow speed. So slower than one. Uh, so we're gonna go to uh, constant acceleration speed one, turn momentary uh, are on. And uh, so that's, that's the speed. And I've measured it uh, in one second. It goes 24 millimeters, I think. And uh, in slow mode, so we're gonna go slow left, it goes about 17. So that's as slow as it can go. Uh, we got fixed durations left and right. So let's uh, set up our speed of five, constant acceleration, and we're gonna go 1,025 milliseconds. So you go left and it just goes a left for a second. Uh, this is pretty convenient because you can put in a number, say uh, six, and pick your speed. And if you know on your rig how long it's going to take to go across wherever it is you're trying to shoot, and then you can, you know, run it back the other way. And it's pretty accurate. So I've got some tests down here with uh, speed left and speed right, where you can uh, you can measure how far you've gone. So let's do a little measurement here. USB key. Let's just adjust my camera here just so we can see sort of uh, how far it's going to move in one standard keychain <laughs> measurement. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go uh, speed left and I made it to. Ah, it went from this ridge to that ridge. Okay, so we'll go back. Boop. So that's traveling for one second. Now here is. Super slow left. And in the same time frame, it made it about three quarters of the way. So it's about 25% slower, which is nice. And of course, the last bit is ping pong. Ping pong allows you to uh, set a duration and uh, repeat the sequence. So uh, let's just do something basic for now. We'll do one second and one second because, you know, I don't really want to have it fall off my desk. And, uh, you know, just do this. And that's what he's going to do for now. So, the reason I want to use this ping pong is something like this. When you want to have a bit of a bit of an angle and you're shooting something, and maybe we'll go uh, with a speed four. Let's see. Four seconds stop. Keep in mind that it takes a little while for the ramp down. So when you stop, it's still in motion for about a second and a half. So we're gonna go speed four, travel for four seconds, stop for four seconds, 
and uh, twirl left, then right. I'm not even gonna put my hand at the edge of the desk because I trust it. It'll stop in time. Beautiful. And that will go until we hit end sequence. Now I'll set up my gimbal and I'll show you what I had in mind for my gimbal shots. And maybe I'll do a shot and see how it turns out. Here's a neat trick. I'm using Blackmagic camera to uh, with a focal assist so that I can see right where my subject is in focus. There. So that's perfectly in focus. Now my wheels are straight. And what I'm going to do is a full speed uh, ping pong away and back. And so the last half of this footage will be the unit bringing the subject into shot and it'll stop right at the focal point which should be a cool effect let's see Am I taking a selfie of a selfie on a robot with a robot?